Okay, this setup has two parts. We've got the first part, which is our pedal board that we would normally leave in front of us. And then the second part is the amp head and that toothpaste rack. And what I'm doing is running those two things in the effects loop of that Buddha SuperDrive 18 head. So normally that wouldn't sit in front of the pedal board, but I pulled it out in front so you could see what we're doing. So in the rack, Echo Pro and Amod Pro, and those are in the effects loop of the head. But what I want to do is control them with Commander. And automatically, Commander will send program change 1 through 10. So all you got to do is take the last pedal switcher you have, take that MIDI out, run it to the MIDI in of your multi-effects unit, and you're done. Let's take a look at how it works. Now just like we talked about before, Commander can bounce back and forth between preset 1 and preset 6. It's also going to send those same commands to the rack unit. So you'll see those two units bouncing back and forth from 1 and 6. Preset 1 is dry amp with a little slap back. And then it's going to bounce over to 6, which is going to turn on a little Leslie and a little longer slap back. Okay, let's take a look at presets 2 and 7. In 2, I'm going to pull up a long delay on the Echo Pro with all the pedals off. When I flip over to 7, it's going to call up a pitch vibrato on the Mod Pro. It's going to call up a patch on the Echo Pro with a little bit more delay. And it's also going to turn on the tube driver and the sonic distortion. So we're going to use that to get sort of long sustained feedback notes. Okay, for 3 and 8, we're going to make use of the fuzz face, but we're going to use Commander to flip from turning on the flanger on the pedal board to also turning on a second flanger in the effects loop of the amp on the Mod Pro. So for 3, it's fuzz face with a little echo. When we flip to 8, it's going to turn on the flanger on the pedal board and also turn on the flanger in the Mod Pro. 